Hey everyone, and welcome to another time lapse. Well, this is all this evening's work. Well, today and this evening. So, start off with sketching off with, uh, was that a blood or was that a dark flesh tone? I think it was dark flesh tone, yeah. And trying to work just straight flat. I didn't like how some filtering effects was turning the image to be like. So I wanted to go a bit more traditional and pick my own paint colors. Just learn from mistakes and so on. These are safe mistakes. It's absolutely fine. And having some fun at it. So I'm learning about how saturated to work blonde hair. Now, part of the problem is that a lot of the time we perceive blonde as rather yellow. And in many cartoons, that's kind of the color that is used. But blonde is not necessarily yellow. So there's a lot of saturation issues to work with, and I didn't like how yellow cat's hair turned out here. And I tried to go over it again and again, using the less saturated hue. But mind you, when you go with a less satur a mid-saturated yellow, it doesn't look yellow. It looks green. So what you gotta do, you gotta go down, you gotta dip into the oranges and get something kind of wheat in color. Hmm. So yeah, I'm trying to find and adapt my palette and here we go, sploosh. Okay. And bring down the brightness and so on. And a lot of what I'm trying to do throughout my coloring practice is that I set the layers, since I'm working mostly on just one layer, the color layer mode to black and white. So I have a quick toggle switch to inspect and work through, and make sure I have some nice volume and depth coming through just as I would with my usual gray tone pieces. But I'm trying to work that with color. So it's like I'm not just working two dimension, I'm working three dimension in this sense. Because you've got saturation, brightness, and hue. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of three dimensions there. Hmm. Um, and there was a lot of fixing up and just going over and trying some more and trying to get the color come out through shadows and I got some studies to do of course gotta study some of the old masters and uh, and each practice is, is worth doing of course whether or not it turns out as a failure but it's it's worth doing because you're learning you're learning what you're doing wrong. So I started up a new sketch here with flesh tone and dark flesh tone. As it creates a nice, um, nice ambient color to work on for the rest of the picture. And I gotta work on not just what's highlights, what's shadows, but I still have to implement mid tones throughout. Which is kind of why I started sketching with midtones, and you know, I kind of liked how this was taking shape, and particularly the color, and trying to get the blonde a little bit more accurate. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. All right, and and, and the brightness, I really want to get brightness to pop out more and I was, I was looking how this was turning out revert set revert saturation to gray as you can see I was working through it which is a nice toggle switch when you fix that but you just keep at your drawing until it tells you yeah I'm, I'm good you can move on so I just kept painting And of course, hands are always going to be an issue. Hands are always a great.
great item to practice. Another sketch starting up. Dark flesh tone hues. And then I'm gonna start filling up color. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, I just love these time lapses I can get out of Clip Studio. It's just such a pity you can't see all the little details you get from how many layers you work with, but you know, not a big deal here. It's mostly working just, well, trying to work mostly just one layer. And I've been enjoying a lot of it. So, but I started working a little bit more than just one layer after this. Um, because I lose a lot of content to the image when I'm passing over a few, quite a few times like that. You know, erasing and going over. Whereas I can just be more efficient and just use a new layer and sketch on top. Not, not lose the old data. But another old trick I did was... So, I started to do... I started to do the sketch um, and just leave the line color well, with flesh, dark flesh tones. And you can start off gray if you want. But you can use... It's just um, painting down the sketch to it, and that, then setting it to the dark flesh tones, and then you put splash on your main added colors underneath on a couple different layers, your skin tones, your hair, your clothes. And when I was satisfied enough with where everything was placed and ready to blend it all up, well, I stuck all that in a folder and uh, duplicated it into a flat layer. So I could then still have my original reference and work it out then. Yeah, still trying to adjust for the palette that I want. And another thing about flesh tones is that hues vary throughout the skin. You've got all sorts of pigments to use. There's blues, there's yellows, there's reds. And you gotta know where to place it. And what and how come those colors are coming out and such? For example, if you want to draw hands, knuckles tend to have a bit more of a white yellow hue to it. I am not even recording, am I? Oh, I am. Okay, good. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I am. Ah, so say knuckles, white yellow hues and. Fingertips go red, because the blood is really showing more there. And it's always got to keep those little tidbits in mind. But I just go and start up a sketch and practice coloring that, and just having fun. And I'm sure at practice I'm, I'm learning from things and making mistakes and doing research, but you just gotta utilize your fun as studies. Now the red suit has... You can't, you can't just stick to the same hue if you want to go deep, uh, dip down in shades of red. You gotta make it cooler a lot of the time when you're working in shades of red. Um, but I think I was getting the blonde color down a bit more accurately. Flesh tones are like, oh, so flesh tones will take a while to practice. And, um, I just have a little bit more fun here. Always have fun when you go do the linen, when you go doing your practice. It, this was fun. And then I started another sketch. And I just couldn't stop. Yeah, I go start another sketch. Oh, this one! This one! Oh my goodness. I had fun. I was listening to a particular track. And it was a track from an end of a season of so on, so uh, it was kind of a melancholy feel. But I wanted to have like that feeling of there's there's an end to it and we'll all be together and it's in silver, and we're here. 
so oh I just had so much fun sketching those expressions just that bit of I can't help being this happy I'm crying I'm so happy sort of feel yeah this is where I applied the um, colors on separate layer and then merge as a whole different layer that was just fun a lot of fun oh, I just don't mind the other splishies um, I was just showing my brushes I just could not stop having fun with this one um, when I was working on it tell me like oh keep the clouds they're nice but, and, and then they go and erase those clouds thinking no I could make better clouds yes better clouds oh so where are we oh yeah there we go just keep pushing the highlights keep pushing the shading and let's work what hues are gonna come across I really liked how the colors on the white shirt were coming out and here we go. And I, was, and I was just astonished with how orangey and bright that cloud contour became. So, yeah, that's how that turned out. Then I wanted to do something a bit more worked out and try to get that sketching done just down. Again, dark skin tones based on for the sketch. I really liked using the erasing mode on the on the brush itself it was not set as an eraser but I select um, clear alpha paint instead of a solid color so you can turn your any brush into an eraser in that sense and it just morphed and sculpted the paint along on the canvas and it's just fun times adding flesh tones adding hair quickly and this was a lot, uh, a lot more efficient. Gained the basics down, and I went back and locked a, locked a layer for the sketch, and mixed on color in the in the uh, line work itself. And then when I was ready, I blended it all up again, and blended it off. I had to rework those hands quite a couple of times, and I was just not happy. But that's the, that's the struggle. That's part of it. You just gotta keep at it, and you keep having fun. Just mess around with your brushes, experiment, discover what they do. All right. So I hope you guys all had a great time watching these, because I sure had fun painting them. <gasps> and uh, wish you a great day. And happy painting. Take care.